mirror balls revolve apparently in a sea of nothingness in the beams of slide projectors. A number of words gradually reveal themselves. Speed. Speech. And space. An installation by Misha Kubal. Light is one of the most complex media that I've got to know in the course of my work. As a conceptual artist, I also opted to use light because I can use it and manipulate it in so many different ways. For example, it can be an office lamp illuminating a desk. Then, when it's part of a composition on the side of a high-rise, for example, its external effect is a signal on a cityscape. That's the kind of signal Misha Kubal created when he used office lamps for a light choreography on a high-rise in Dusseldorf for six weeks in 1990. Misha Kubal often likes to work with industrial buildings in the Ruhr Valley region. Lines of LED lights turn two shaft towers of former coal mines into beacons for the region. On another occasion, he floods a synagogue with light. I'm excited by the prospect of creating something surprising in the urban space, that is Montevideo, or maybe Sao Paulo again, or perhaps Metz or Berlin. It's not the location that pulls me there, but what's possible at the location itself. For the European City of Culture Ruhr 2010 program, Misha Kubal is using light as a social means of communication. The project, called 100 Lights, 100 Faces, sees the artist changing a floor lamp for stories. 100 people from various nations tell the camera how they came to be in the Ruhr Valley. My parents decided to emigrate to Germany in 1994. I was 12 years old at the time, so I was pretty much forced to come along. I am integrated into this culture. It was difficult initially, but where there's a will, there's a way. The material is unbelievable. I can't say yet exactly what will happen with it, but that's indicative of just how the piece molds itself through the participation of the families, of the individual members of this process. Misha Kubal had already used light as an object for exchange 12 years ago at the Biennale in Sao Paulo. He swapped ordinary lamps for different types of lights belonging to Brazilian families and exhibited them. In his latest installation for the first Biennale for Light Art in Una, he goes a step further. Researchers at a medical center in Una are trying to stimulate the brain functions of patients. Misha Kubal aims to support this process with his work through light, which simulates the nerves of the brain. Here in this place, art assumes a function. It's no longer in a studio, no longer in a museum, but it has been consciously deployed on the express wishes of and in consultation with the therapeutic measures that occur here in Una. And it's a wonderful opportunity for me that the Light Biennale gives me the chance to develop an effect in such a concrete and specific context. Misha Kubal's art aims to change perceptions. If you feel niggled by it, then that's intentional. His goal is to sharpen visual appreciation. The most important elements of his work, time, space, speech, and light. <laughs>